Assalamu alaikum. My name is Bakhtiyar Khwaja. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to Bank Al Falah as a new joiner to the Bank Al Falah's family. The learning group consists of two learning centers, one at Karachi and the other one at Lahore. Both the centers are fully equipped with the latest tools and technology and they are staffed with capable faculty in order to impart learning and development opportunities for all the Bank Al Falah employees. Our endeavor would be, as time passes, to offer you learning and development facilities of the highest order. The objective would be that you sharpen your skills and you build a long-term career with the bank. This latest initiative that the learning group has taken is to develop a video which will help you integrate into the mainstream of Bank Al Falah without taking too much time and without much hassle. All you have to do is to switch the video on at your laptop or at your desktop and go through the whole material. Coupled with the computer-based training of orientation and induction, you would be well familiar with Bank Al Falah's history and background and products and the structure of management. Um, our wish is that as time passes and you spend your time at Bank Al Falah, you learn and develop your skills and sharpen your skills in a way that your career develops with the bank. As your career progresses, the bank will also progress. We wish you a very pleasant stay at Bank Al Falah and a very profitable career with the bank. Thank you very much. Welcome. Today, the areas that we're going to touch upon in this video are Historical perspective of banking History, background and product range of Bank Al Falah Limited Bank Al Falah's HR policy and basic workplace manners And lastly, your career at Bank Al Falah During the video, we will also see how we can grow as individuals side by side with our bank Bank Al Falah has a message for all of us here A message that focuses on well-rounded grooming of every team member. Organizations are not made of brick and mortar alone. Their growth and development is based on hard-working individuals working in teams. It is based on you and your capabilities. Competition in the banking industry demands high degree of strategic management and interpersonal skills. We too need to play skillfully on this financial chessboard. All the banks are operating with big challenges and high targets. We are like mountaineers. Some of us may exhaust at the base camp, while others may conquer smaller peaks. But we at Bank Al Falah are unstoppable. We won't compromise on anything short of scaling the peak of success. The great mountaineer, Sir Edmund Hillary, had to abandon his bid to conquer Everest in his first attempt due to bad weather. He sent a message to Everest through his friends. Tell this mountain that I'll climb it. It has grown as much as it could while I'm still growing. Bank Al Falah is pursuing continuous all-round improvement and rapid growth in the spirit of this great adventure. This is only possible when we instill a sense of commitment in our team to pursue sustainable long-term growth on a perpetual basis. Every one of us has to actualize the potential lying dormant within us. Such lofty aims necessitate that we demonstrate the most appropriate behavior under all circumstances. Our attitude and resultant behavior should reflect our metal and strength of character. Let's now have a quick look at the history of banking. One group of researchers say the word bank comes from the Italian word banca or French word bank, both meaning bench. Jews of northern Italian district of Lombardy used to deal in money on these benches. Bank root and bancarotta mean broken bench, 
an equivalent for bankrupt. The other group traces the roots of the word bank from the German word Bach, meaning a joint stock fund. This was Italianized as Benka when Germans ruled Italy. Whichever explanation we accept, the root of word banking comes from Middle Ages of European history when Jews led the business of taking deposits and lending money. Over the years, banking has constantly changed and improved its profile. Early banking, which for a long time remained a localized activity, is now an international phenomenon, where decisions are made across continents on the click of a mouse. Banking, as we know today, has taken centuries to evolve. Let's have a quick look at this evolution. In its primitive shape, banking had existed in one form or the other in ancient civilizations of the world. As early as 2000 BC, Babylonians had developed a banking system. Temples of Ephesus and Delphi were acting as powerful Greek banking institutions. Historical traces of banking are also found in Assyria, Phoenicia, India, China and Egypt. During the 14th century, Florence was the epicenter of such banking practices, though banks in their initial stages were established in Venice and Genoa in the 12th century. Records still show the names of 80 prominent bankers of Florence around that time.